I'll let you in on a little secret. I always add cream to the chocolate to make the ganache extra velvety. Then I let it infuse for one minute. I love it when your dad comes to class and gives us pastry lessons. <laughs> so does he. Ah, do they seriously think I'm going to get my hands dirty cooking like some maid? If I want a croissant, I just make my butler get it for me. He's not making croissants, Chloe. Those are macaroons. It's all done with a flick of the wrist, but you mustn't go too fast or you might splash yourself. And soiled my Chanel pants? Who's he kidding? Look at this lovely emulsion. Beautiful. <laughs> now we need to chill it for half an hour. Marinette. Uh, yes, Dad? Could you put this in the school cafeteria fridge for me, please? In the meantime, I'm going to show your friends how to whip up egg whites. Of course. <laughs> Can I get a taste? Not yet, Tiki. <laughs> Control that sweet tooth of yours. <laughs> oh. Hi, Tiki. Quietly, students. Single file line, please. Yep. Just keep moving. Mm. Excuse me. I hope it's only a fire drill. So, some smart aleck had the bright idea of calling the fire department. <gasps> Somebody amongst us thought it would be funny to waste the fire captain's valuable time. Yes, in fact, if you wouldn't mind, I'll be... Hold on. I want the guildy party to apologize to you. I'm sure it was Chloe. I saw her on the phone right before the alarm went off. You seeing her make a phone call isn't solid proof. <sighs> Mr. Damocles, sir? Yes, Miss Bourgeois? I saw a student leaving the classroom right before the alarm went off. It must have been her. Really? Who was it? Let's see if she'll come clean. What do you say, Marinette Dupenche? <gasps> Marinette, do you have something to tell the firefighter, Captain? Uh, wait, excuse me, sir. But it couldn't possibly be Marinette. Why would she disrupt her own father's cooking class? Yes. And I know for a fact that Marinette didn't even have her phone on her when she went out of the classroom. Mr. Damocles, I must be heading Just out. Just one more second. We're very close to discovering the truth. Oh. oh well, we all know it can't be me. I'm not gonna let her get away with this. I've gotta tell... Hang on, Marinette. We don't know for sure it was her. He's right. Let's not stoop to her level. <laughs> I really have to leave now. Just call me if you find out who the prankster is. Fine. Since no one is owning up, the whole school will be punished. <gasps> what? I'm not so sure my father will react kindly to me being punished without any proof. Oh, no. Please, don't disturb the busy mayor. <clears throat> The whole school is punished, except for Miss Bourgeois. Yeah, it's more like it. Now you know how we deal with anyone who misuses the fire department's time. Okay, great. Do you see what just went down? I know, Adrian just talked to my ear. Seriously, Marinette. Can't you see? I'm trying to relax here. Go sweep somewhere else, Cinderella. <gasps> hey, <Jacob! gasps> of course it was me who called the fire department. So what? And it doesn't bother you that everyone's being punished because of you? No, why would it? They all seem to enjoy getting dirty making cookies. How is it any different than getting dirty cleaning floors? They should be thanking me, if anything. <sighs> Chloe, how long have you and I been friends? Since we were adorable little tots, Adrikins. Well, I'm sorry, Chloe, but I can't be friends with someone who treats other people like this. You've got to be nice to people. N nice? Yes, nice. It's not that hard. <laughs> 